Hey guys, Shane here with Hangar 8 Media. Today we're going to take a flight. We're going to review the new in-flight mic by inflightcam.com. Now what this is is a boom mic that you can attach to a consumer headset and they recommend the Bose QC35, which is Quiet Comfort 35 wireless headset. You attach the mic to it, put it in an airplane, and it now becomes an aviation headset. Now when you're done with flying, you can pull the mic back off and you've got your consumer wireless headset to use at home or on the road. So follow along with us today and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna take the new in-flight mic and attach it to the QC35s and we'll fly and we'll uh, take some readings with a small microphone up inside the headset and get some level readings at different operating ranges in Archie at different RPMs. We're going to use the Bose A20s to compare them against. Now I don't suspect that these are going to be as good or better than the Bose A20s, but just to have some type of comparison, that's what we're going to use today. So come on, let's go get the airplane out and we'll go fly. <laughs> so we're going to test out the Bose A20 versus the QC35s. Quiet comfort. Quiet comfort. All right, so before we can fire up, we've got our checklist. We go through everything. Clear prop. We clear? Looks good. All right. You got me? I got you loud and clear. All right, I got you. So we should be recording in this one with our headsets directly through all of this gear here that is in the dash. So basically it goes through here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go up, we're going to do a run up, and I've got a microphone on this other one. I'm okay. going to stick it up inside my headset. We'll listen for the differences. Uh, swap them, go fly, and uh, see what it's like. I like it. And what we can do is we can just turn this one around. We've got one on us. There you go. Okay, one each way. And usually, guys, what I'll do is I'll hang one out on the wing, but since uh, we're recording double audio today, we'll just uh, keep them both inside the cockpit. All right, we're going to do a little bit of an extended run-up because we're going to try both headsets and see how it is. Jeremy, how do you like the headset so far? Man, I love it. i tell you what. Very light, you barely even feel it on your head. It's comfortable. So what you can do, stick this up under one side. Go to the right side over here. Alright. Let me know when you're ready. Alright, have at it. Alright, right now we're at a thousand RPMs. So you should hear what Jeremy hears and you also hear what we hear on the radio. Actually I'll close this too. I'll open it back up as well. Alright, we're going to go up to 2,000 RPM. Alright, there's 2,000 RPM. Actually, it might be a little bit more. Mine's pretty quiet. Is yours? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds great. No problems? Nope. Alright, we're going to check our mags. So, we got a little bit of a drop. Back up. A little bit of a drop. Back up. Now, I'll go ahead and open this back up. So we're going to come back around. Suction looks good. Carb heat, it does work. All of our instruments do look good. We'll pull it back down. And then Jeremy and I are going to swap the uh, little microphone over. And if he'll give me the microphone, I'll stick it in my headset and we'll do a run up again. I don't think there should be a whole lot of difference between uh, pilot and co-pilot signs. But you never know. All right. So now I've got it in my ear. Go back up to 2,000 RPMs. And it's nice and quiet over here, so. Yeah. Windows open. Windows closed. Mag check. Make any difference? Alright. So what we'll do, um, I can keep it on my side, and then once we get flying, I'll, I'll hand it back over to you, Jeremy. Okay. Like I said, both of these are noise canceling. I think Bose does a wonderful job with noise canceling. Um, it's hard to beat. 
technology that they have. Hey, Gainesville traffic, Cherokee 2460, Quebec is departing runway 23, and it'll be a left turn out, Gainesville. All right, my iPad says we have 5,400 feet of runway left. <laughs> I love technology. Maybe that'll be it. I hope so. Yeah. All right, we're at full power. Quick glance at our RPMs. We're making power. Airspeed's coming alive. Airplanes wanting to fly. Double check real quick. Just quick glances. Everything's good. All right. 60 knots, plenty enough to make Archie fly. A little bit of right rudder, and we're up. And watch her go. Go, go, gadget. Jeremy over here is a pilot as well, so. Yeah, buddy. You can help me fly. You wanna fly? Sure. Your plane. My plane. Your plane. Yeah, for those that are not familiar with uh, general aviation, the radio or the uh, head unit has uh, an adjustable sensitivity. So if you listen, as soon as I quit talking, it gets quiet. If I adjust it, it stays on all the time. You actually might be able to hear a little whoop, whoop, whoop. That is our beacon in the back of the airplane. How'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just due to an old, older airplane, um, degraded technology, I guess. Um, I'm sure this radio has a lot to do with it. Might be a grounding issue somewhere. Zulu, weather, wind, calm. Gainesville traffic 1006, one, Victor, is at 4,000. 5,000, overcast, temperature 2, 3, Celsius, dew point 1, 4, altimeter 3, 0, 1, niner. All right, Jeremy, if you want to, I'm going to give you this one back. You can put it up on your... Okay. All righty. I do hear a little bit of engine noise in this one. A little bit? Yeah. All right, so it looks like everybody is on runway 23. Um, 1,300 will be inbound landing two miles northeast of the field at Northeast Georgia Medical. So these are nice and light. I do like that about the uh, QC-35s. I, uh, like I said, I can hear a little bit of engine noise. Yeah. Okay, so we'll try the citation 608, might one. Yeah, this is pretty lightweight. I like that. I, I can notice the difference as far as the weight goes. I don't know how that's going to work on fatigue, you know, maybe all day flying type deal, but Gainesville traffic, Cherokee 2460, Quebec, five miles to the south, will be inbound for a 45 degree entry, uh, left downwind runway 23 at Gainesville. Okay, we've got all of our lights on. Light it up. And we'll keep it there. Let's put it on the numbers. Four before. You got this. Yeah, we got this. Before the numbers. Now I could burn up my brakes and make it to the first <laughs> turn off. But there ain't no sense in burning up a set of brakes to make a point, unless it's a competition. Typically, we'd stop and get fuel, but since we're going to do an oil change, well, that was one of the reasons why we came and flew, was to test out the headset and to warm the engine up so we can do an oil change. That's going to be a whole separate video, but uh, we'll put fuel in it after we are do our test flight after changing the oil. Home of Hangar 8 Media, right behind us. All right, we'll radio going off. Oh, 
All right, so we're back. We did our flight test with the QC 35s, which is a quiet comfort 35s with in flights uh, boom. And can I take this off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just all of that. It is actually. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do it. Though. It is actually. It's not Velcro. Okay. It is almost too. Well, much, it's the industrial. Yeah, stuff. it's industrial Velcro that more or less snaps in together instead of just sticking. So you can buy these anywhere, Amazon, um, Jeremy said you bought his at uh, Best, Buy. Best Buy. And they are three? Uh, 329 Okay. Yeah. Amazon, basically the same price. And there's a QC35 too, but you said it there has some features that's sort of useless in an airplane. Yeah, the, the twos have, um, what was it, about 20 bucks more, and it has some Google voice command type stuff. I, I Which I don't think I, I want Google doing anything while I'm flying. While I'm flying. I don't want to say, hey Google, search, so and so. So you can buy those anywhere, and then you can go to in-flight cam and uh, look at their boom mic. And their boom mic actually has the uh, voice input, and it plugs right into the headset. And then you've got your standard general aviation uh, two plugs here. And so that plugs into the airplane that you're flying. And as we, we mentioned, as we we're flying, it's very light, uh, definitely a lot lighter than the uh, A20s that I've got. There are some downsides with it. It is noise canceling. But one of the features that you're not going to get is on the A20s, there is actually Bluetooth. So I can Bluetooth to my phone. And a lot of people are like, well, why would you need your phone when you're in the air? I don't need it when I'm in the air. But when I'm on the ground, if I've got to get a clearance, you've actually, some places like here in Gainesville, we can't contact anybody through the radio, so we've got to use a phone. So either I've got to take my headset off while the airplane's running, call, copy down my clearance, which can be difficult to do because you can't hear as well. If you can Bluetooth, you can do it all right through the headset. So that's one thing you're going to miss. Now, if you're not an instrument pilot, you're probably not ever going to miss that. Uh, another thing I do have on the, the A20s is I do have a music in or a line in so I can play music. Most new radios in the airplane have that anyway so everybody can hear music. Um, this only isolates it to the person wearing the headset. So what is our take on these? Uh, I like it because it's, it's very lightweight, um, inexpensive. If I had to compare Basically it. Basically half the price. It's half the price. And I'll tell you one other thing that you guys really want to think about is, well, Shane, I'll ask you, what do you do with yours after we leave here today? Well, I'm taking mine home because they're so expensive. And you put them in the bag? I put them in my bag. And you don't touch them again. You're right. You like I said, airport. my cable kept getting twisted up because right. it's been sitting in my bag for four However, five However, I just snapped mine off and I've got music, I've got YouTube videos, anything I want, obviously, that's Bluetooth that I'm still using. So here's, a, here's an easy sell. Jeremy is uh, for all you pilots you know you've got to justify the cost of something you tell your wife hey I got you a new headset that's right and, uh, when you go fly you just need to bar you need to bar yeah. fly. these yeah, do right. have uh, they advertise a 20 hour uh, charge battery life so so it's built-in batteries. So it's built-in batteries, yep, yep. Charge it up, 20 hours. And so the A20, I have to put uh, double A's inside here. Not that big of a deal, I always keep a couple in on hand anyway. And the only thing that affects is the noise canceling. Um, you know, I love my A20s. You right. have to say, if, I, if I you get it. If you've got $1,000, I'm gonna have to say the A20's gonna win. If you don't have $1,000, I'm definitely going to go with the, the Q, uh, QC35. So there you have it. We both gave our opinions, uh, which headset we like. You know, it's, it's all going to be user dependent. So I say check them out, try them out. Maybe if you need a second set for your airplane, uh, grab a set and try it out first. You can use it as your second set. And if you like them enough, you can convert them over to your first set or buy another set. But uh, make sure you like our channel, share it with all your friends, and also subscribe to us. Thanks and have a great day. See you guys.